Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Neha. I make video on tech and my life in the UK. Today I'm going to talk about a topic of DAC. I have already made two, three videos on that as well as there were a lot of questions came to me in the past, which I already answered. But this question keeps coming back to me again and again. So why I'm talking about it again? Few days back, I got the question on DSA, but this time the question was a bit different. The question focus was on motivation and I liked the question. The reason is whenever you will see around or you will see yourself, you start with a very uh, big motivation to do DSA. That motivation remains on the top for a few weeks, a month or two months, and then it will start declining. And as a result, we leave DSA in between. So for me, this motivation part is pretty important uh, because if you want to master not just DSA, but any skill, you have to be motivated, disciplined and consistent. So that's why I thought, let me address this question and make a video on this. I will read the question first and then I will go into the details. So the question is, I saw you doing DSA with CLRS. This is a book actually. I want to do the same thing here, but I lack motivation to do so. Was joining the dream company your only motivation was or was it something else? Also an extension to the question is, while you were in college or school, was programming or mathematics natural to you? So thank you for sending this question. I already answered in the tweet uh, on the Twitter, but the problem on Twitter is this, uh, I cannot type a lot of things. So video is the best place to, you know, talk more openly about it and in detail. First, I will answer the second part of this question. So in school, I was from commerce background. I was not into computers or programming. I was commerce with maths. After my school, I went into BCA. I did my BCA Bachelor of Computer Application. And that was the first time I got introduced to programming. And no, it was not natural to me. As every student, I was also cribbing my college is not great. There are no resources and literally there were no resources because at that time there was no YouTube, Udemy or mentorship. Even the seniors were not cooperative. Uh, books were limited. Even I remember my lot of books which I got assigned in my college. They were having examples uh, which were like already passed. So like they wanted to predict future. But the example of the years that by this year, this will happen, those years were already gone. So those books never got updated. So in short, there was no resources. Uh, there were no like a lot of books, mentorship and everything. Um, I was first time doing programming and I was struggling a lot. Uh, now, second time, second maths. I was not an expert, but uh, I, I will say I was a slow learner. When I say slow learner, I'm, I still feel that, you know, I need my speed to learn things. So I have to sit and revise few things again and again to be comfortable. So same goes with maths. So unless and until my concepts are not, cle not clear, I won't be able to do. Whereas, and when I say this, because I compare myself with top toppers who are like, you tell them just once and they will be able to solve any problem. So for me, I was a slow learner. Second, um, I require extra resources or tuitions, you can say. So from 10th to 12th, I had tuition of maths. When I reached to college, uh, I didn't have tuition for maths, but I had tuition for, uh, you know, basic concepts of uh, C++ and all. Uh, that I had only for a few months. And I realized that it's more of practice and all that. So yeah, this is a big, you know, long answer. No, it was not natural to me. School, I didn't did the programming. I started after my uh, school in my college. Also, my, in my college, there were no computers available in the computer lab because most of the computers were not working. So there were like a lot of resource lacking. Mathematics, I told you, in my college, my maths teacher was very great. In fact, my school teachers were very great. Now, when I look back, I realized that my uh, even my school teachers were great. Uh, I remember a lot of hard topics till now are complex because they taught me well. I require some extra help to, you know, practice. So, yeah. So in my college, my math teacher was very good. 
uh i i still remember like i have to just go through once and i can still uh i i am confident i can do few maths problem not like an expert but yeah i can solve little bit so yeah this is about uh, programming maths in my school and college so let's go to the first part my motivation so yes my motivation to do dsa was uh my dream companies and when i say my dream companies it uh uh it was not like fang fang it was like i wanted to work in good big companies i i worked in tesco i was in oracle so those actually were very good companies with respect to money work life balance uh title culture work whatever we were doing uh and also uh i al- already got interviewed in google facebook and microsoft and i was not able to clear i got rejected and the reason was dsa so let's now move to the second part uh, sorry first part of this question that why i started learning dsa so yes the first initial motivation was to go to my dream companies but i got into tesco then oracle and these companies were great oracle was the fourth uh, is the fourth top cloud provider so for me uh, this was no longer a motivation but before tesco and oracle i went through interviews of google meta and microsoft and i realized that my ga- there is a gap of ts and not just these companies but there are other companies also which ask good knowledge of ts and i was lacking there and when i i reach oracle i thought what i should be doing is i should now work on this ts skill to fill the gap of my skills so that was the first trigger point for me that okay fine i am in oracle um my job is good i am happy with everything now there is no interview any longer this is the right time for me to upskill myself for dsa so this is how i started but when i started i realized that it is not about only interviews because dsa started improving my problem solving skills and also making me very good in programming though my uh, and when i what i'm trying to say is though in our day to day life we are doing coding but the complex problem solving my that practice was coming to me through dsa and then i see that there is this good improvement happening in my day to day job of programming just because of dsa so i thought let me just go ahead and you know keep doing it and i started enjoying it now how i started enjoying it this is also important because i didn't went into that lead code competition i didn't said to myself that every day for 2 hours i'm going to sit and study or every day i'm going to solve two medium problems the way i was learning dsa was very different i was learning through the book clrs i was taking my own time to understand the concept theoretically then writing pseudo code and then actual code once my that concept is clear then i used to move to next i was not getting myself into lead code at all the reason is lead code was at least i can talk about myself for me it was like very competitive i know interviews are competitive but right now i was not in that zone of giving interviews for me it was about my own upskilling and unless and until i don't know concept how i can do the lead code so for me what this actually changed everything because now i am not competing i am trying to build a new skill for myself i am learning new things new concept i used to revise so every day in the morning i used to sit for an hour or 30 minutes and do this this was a long process but slowly slowly it became my habit that every morning i have to sit and do it and also i didn't went into doing the group studies in the past i tried doing group studies or you know pair programming and all that it never worked why it never worked because some sometime you are busy sometime other person is busy you are not able to come on the same time or same page there are so many blockers and i wanted to keep my whole uh, learning process as smooth as possible so for me if you will ask it started as a motivation that yes i want to go to to the top companies but how i stayed motivated is by looking at dsa as a skill which will which was helping me 
and is helping me in my programming skills rather than just interview interview clearing uh, skill so that was a motivating motivation for me so yeah so i hope this will help you i already made a detailed video on how i learned dsa uh, how i reach reach out to the problem um, problem solving uh, if you are someone who just started doing problem solving i can feel you when i started doing problem solving i was stuck how to solve this problem especially when you are coming from front end developer development background so i also made a video on that that how you can start with that so just keep watch that i will put the links in the description box let me know how you like this video if you have questions like this or anything related to career or tech please feel free to send to me ngl uh, please do that thank you take care bye